so excited to have my new Windows 10 S computer. The person at the store told me that I will not get any viruses with this computer. That is awesome. So the first thing I want to do on this computer, use a Chrome downloading tool. Where is it? Where is it? Ah, here we are. Look for the big blue E. That's the Google Chrome downloading tool. So let's search for Chrome. Get Google Chrome. We're going to just click here. Download Chrome. Yes, I want to do that. Accept. Save. Cool. Now let's open folder and run. Windows 10S only runs verified apps. Every app you install has been verified by the Windows Store. What? I can't run Google Chrome on my computer that I just paid $2,000 for? What kind of operating system is this? <laughs> Hey guys, Bingo Cat here, and welcome to another video. For those of you who are new to my channel, I do a lot of videos about operating systems, about comparing operating systems, about taking a look at operating systems for the first time, new and old. So today's video, I'll be taking a look at Windows 10 S. Now for those of you who have uh, never heard of Windows 10 S, Windows 10 S is Windows 10, except you can't run any applications outside the Windows Store. That's what's so special about Windows 10S. Yeah, you can't run Google Chrome, you can't run Firefox, you can't run Steam, you can't run Origin, but other than that, it's a full-fledged copy of Windows 10. So I installed this here in VMware, and Microsoft, by the way, has released a free tool online that makes it extremely easy to switch from Windows 10 Pro to Windows 10S if you want to, but I don't see why you want to. So yeah, let's go ahead and turn on the virtual machine. All right, so Windows 10 S is booting up and right off the bat it looks like regular Windows 10. And so now it booted up to what looks like a regular Windows 10 login screen. I'm gonna type in my super secret passcode for you guys and wait for it to log in. All right, the first thing I wanna do is make the screen larger. It is not 2001 anymore. No one really uses 1024 by 768 monitors for their primary monitor. So 1920, yeah, we can do 1920 by 1200 for this video. And let's increase the text scaling size. Oh, I have to sign out and sign back in. But right, right off the bat, you guys can see that it is a uh, very similar feeling to just a regular version of Windows 10. And wait for it to log in. All right, sorry for that little, uh, that little gaffle, guys. Uh, for some reason, Windows 10S, when I tried to log back in, it black screened, and then it wouldn't do anything. So I had to uh, restart the virtual machine, and now it seems to be better, but it seems to have reset my display back down to 1024 by 768, so we'll just increase that to 1920 by 1200 again. So yeah, once again, looks really similar to regular Windows 10. Now, if I were to go to um, personalize, uh, I need to activate my PC apparently, which we're not gonna do for this video. But yeah, I swear this wallpaper is slightly different than the original Windows 10 wallpaper. I'll just go ahead and put up the original Windows 10 wallpaper on the screen. And as you guys can clearly see, it definitely does look slightly different than the Windows 10 S wallpaper. So that's great, Bingo Cat. Now you have Windows 10 S. Well, what can you do on it? Well, so if you go to all the um, applications installed on Windows 10, it looks like a regular install of Windows 10 Pro, right? And it even has um, apps that technically aren't universal Windows platform apps. Now, if you go to File Explorer, you still get the full File Explorer 
that you get with every other version of Windows 10. Now, the difference between Windows 10 S and Windows 10 Pro and Home and every other version of Windows 10 basically is what happens when you try to run an app downloaded outside the Windows Store? Well, I have Chrome set up downloaded here. I double click and what do I get? For security and performance, Windows 10 S only runs verified apps. And then they claim Microsoft Edge is a faster, safer browser designed for Windows 10 S. I'm not going to learn about browsing, but I do want to see how how it says to install apps from outside the Windows Store. Here it says switch to Windows 10 Pro, and then they say with Windows 10 you can choose a PC that fits the way you work, blah 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 blah. In order to get Windows 10 Pro you have to pay $199.99 US dollars for it, but if your computer actually comes with Windows 10 S you can just upgrade to Windows 10 Pro for free at the current moment. I'm pretty sure I'd have to enter in my product key in order to see that. So if you were to take our look around the Windows Store, what stuff can you run on Windows 10 S? Well, it's a little bit more limited compared to regular versions of Windows 10, but quite a few of the most popular programs that you can download outside the Windows Store. Um, there are versions of it available inside the Windows Store, like for example, you can still download VLC, you can still download Dropbox, you can download extensions for the Edge web browser, you can install Kodi, and then once you scroll down, the apps start becoming less and less, I guess what I'd say, important or relevant. Like, you don't really need a Craigslist app, in my personal opinion, if you have access to the full desktop version of Craigslist. You can't exactly install things like Adobe Premiere or Adobe Photoshop, at least yet, maybe in the future. So if you want to install an app from the Windows Store, all you should have to do for Dropbox, for example, is go here, click Get, and then uh let me sign in all right so i signed in with my microsoft account so now it's starting the download as you guys can see it's downloading right here and then it should install by itself too so definitely more simpler than going to a website downloading an exe file and you have to make sure it's a legit exe file and then installing that now even though you can't run officially any apps outside the Windows Store, you still have the old programs and features list here that's supposed to list traditional desktop programs. And OneDrive at the current moment is still a traditional Windows desktop program, so it is listed here. So you can definitely still do everything that the regular version of Windows 10 can do. I mean, look at all these features that you can do. Um, so it looks like if it's a Microsoft application that came with the computer, even though it technically is not a Windows Store app, it can still run, which I kind of find interesting, but it is expected. Now, why is performance monitor grayed out? you think that wouldn't be grayed out. Seems to work fine to me, though. Yeah, why are some of these apps grayed out? And then other apps like maps aren't great at. So what are my final thoughts on Windows 10 S and do I recommend Windows 10 S? My final thoughts on Windows 10 S are I think it's a way that Microsoft is going to try and force consumers to use a Windows Store more. I think Microsoft wants consumers and businesses to use a Windows Store. I think the biggest case that Microsoft wants you to switch to using the Windows Store is because um, Microsoft earns a cut of money from any paid apps that are on the Windows Store. I think it's as simple as that. And for that reason, I don't think that a lot of big companies, unless Windows 10 S becomes super popular, will bring their apps over to the Windows Store because I just don't see companies wanting to give Microsoft any cut of their profits. I just don't see it happening. I just like being able to install applications from wherever I want because it's my computer. I feel like Microsoft might try and push Windows 10 S to be the main consumer version of Windows eventually. Since Microsoft claims that Windows 10 is going to be the last version of Windows ever, um, there are going to be a lot less people purchasing Windows licenses, right? And unless they start charging a 
fee to use Windows, like a subscription-based fee, which I don't think Microsoft's ever going to do because customers would not use Windows if that were the case, in my opinion. They would definitely seek other alternatives because no other operating system maker, I believe, does that unless there's some random Linux distro that does that that I've never heard of. So I don't think people would really settle for that in my personal opinion. And so the general idea though behind Windows 10 S is that it's not for geeks, it's not for nerds. It is for your grandmas, your moms, your dads, you know, people who really don't know too much about computers, right? And the theory behind this is by limiting the user to only download apps through the Windows Store, this will definitely fix a lot of problems that arise on PCs like you won't get as many viruses, as much malware, etc. And it'll just be overall better for the less computer literate users. Now for people like me, on the other hand, who are a little bit more familiar with computers, we would sorely miss being able to download applications outside the Windows Store. I, to be honest, I would not give my mom, my dad, grandparents, little kids, computer illiterate people, I probably wouldn't even give them Windows 10s. Let's be honest, most people who use Windows know what Google Chrome is. And so when they find out that they can't install Google Chrome because it's not in the Windows Store, people are going to get pissed and just return their computers and buy alternatives, maybe not even buy Windows, they might buy MacBooks. Personally, I don't like Windows 10s. I am not going to use it. I do not recommend you use it. And so yeah, that was my thoughts on Windows 10s and uh, look at Windows 10s. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And check me out on Twitter, Instagram, and definitely check out my Discord. And yeah, goodbye guys.